Hoi amore, graat twee. Vandaag is maandag en die datum is 11 mei. Today we are going to be learning about nomers, numbers, and sisona, seasons. Let's begin. Okay, firstly, you have been practicing nomers, and last term we did lots of counting van 1 tot 20. So let's hear, I want you to count aloud, please, to your dog, to your couch, to your desk, to whoever, whatever is around you. Count from 1 to 20 aloud. Go. Okay, I hope you're there and you got it and you didn't get stuck along the way. Let's just check the numbers to make sure. Okay, so there is in tot teen. Let's count together. In twee, three, vier, vijf, zes, sieve, acht, nege, tien. Let's keep going from 11 to 20. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. That should be easy to you. You should know that and be able to do that in your sleep. Okay, now we're going to have a look at these numbers on the left hand side, which are our um, numerals of 10 counting in 10. So we've got 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50. In order to count from 20 going upwards, it is very important that you know those numbers because if you know those numbers it's going to make it very easy to count in Afrikaans. So let's go through them again. Say them after me. Tien, twintig, dertig, veertig, vijftig. Baie goed. Okay, remember last week Mrs. Van Heesteen did some work with you, a presentation on how to count beyond 20. And remember the golden rule with counting with Afrikaans, there is a trick to it. When we're counting in Afrikaans, we always say the unit first. So now you need to switch your brains over to maths and think of the ones column, the units column, think of the tens column, okay? Now normally in English, we will say 23, okay, which is, the tens column first, then we say the units. But in Afrikaans, it is reversed. First, you say the units or the ones, then you say the tens. So have a look at those numbers there on the right hand side. We've got 23, 35, 47, 29, and 41. So in Afrikaans, they're going to count like this they're going to say 3 and 20, 5 and 30, 7 and 40, 9 and 20. 1 and 40. Okay, so it is backwards. So you've got to switch your brains around to Afrikaans counting. So the first thing you look at, you see the number 23, you say, okay, I see that unit. That is a number 3, which is 3. Right, you know 3. And now we know 20. So we say 3 in 20. There we go. Not too bad. Let's look at 35. What is the unit? The unit is five. Five in Afrikaans is faith. So we say faith in dertig. Five and thirty. Faith in dertig. Look at the next one. Forty-seven. Right, the seven is our unit. So seven is siva in Afrikaans. And forty is viertig. So we start with the seven. We say siva in viertig. Are you getting the hang of it? Okay, let's look at the next one. 
29. So what's the unit? 9, which is 9. We say 9 in 20. All right. The last one, we've got the unit is 1 and um, 1 and 40. So it will be Ian in 40. Okay. I want you to ask mom or dad to give you some numbers from 1 to 50. And I want you to be able to practice this to be able to tell them what that number is in Afrikaans using this um, trick that I've just gone through with you. So this trick works from all the numbers from 20 upwards. The numbers before from 1 to 20, you have to know off by heart. And you guys do know that already. So from 20 to 50, which is what we're focusing on this term, you must practice saying the unit first, the ones first, and then the tens. Okay, so do some practice. Ask mom or dad to give you some numbers and tell them what the number is in Afrikaans. Okay, if you're unsure, watch this slide again just to make sure that you've got it. Okay, now we're moving on to our seasons. What you're doing in life skills, we're also doing in Afrikaans. Sisona. So say for me, Sisona. All right. So you can see that I've got pictures there and I have got the season's names. Have a look at those names and see if you can figure out which season matches what. So Lenta. What do you think Lenta is? Look at that picture. You see flowers. When are they flowers? Think, think, think. Lenta will be spring. The next one down should be very easy for you because it looks very similar to the English word. Okay, so that is swimmer. Say swimmer. Okay, so swimmer is summer. Right, the next one down is one that you're going to have to learn because that is a little bit different. Okay, and there you see nice golden color leaves, which is actually the season we're in now. If I look outside my window, I see lots of leaves changing color, and that is Herfs. Say for me, herfs. All right, and the last one, I'm sure you looked at that and knew it immediately. But did you remember that in Afrikaans, we don't say wa when we see a W. We say v. So that is winter. Winter. Okay, let's go through those again. Say it after me. Lenta. Swimmer, halfs, winter. Okay, so those are our seasons in Afrikaans. Right, let's move on. Okay, what I need you to do now is go and find a blank piece of paper. It can have something on the other side, as long as there is plain white on one of the sides. You can recycle paper, you know I love to do that. Go and find me a blank piece of paper. Press pause on the video while you do so. Okay, so you've got your blank paper now. You are going to fold it. You can see I've drawn lines to show where you must fold. So you fold in half one way and then fold in half the other way. So you've got four little blocks. And for this activity, boys and girls, you can use colors, you can use cokies, make it nice and bright. So get out your nice colorful crayons or cokies. And the first thing I want you to do is write the sisona, as I have done, at the top of each block. So top left, you're going to write lenta. Top right, swimmer. Bottom left, halfs. Bottom right, winter. Press pause while you sort that out. Okay, so find the block that says lenta and say for me lenta three times. Let's go. Lenta, lenta, lenta. Okay. Now in your lenta block, you are going to draw some volka, which are clouds. The reason I'm saying draw clouds in spring in Lenta is that our rains come in spring. 
Okay, in Johannesburg, we get the rains coming in spring again. They wouldn't have been there during winter. We don't normally get rain in winter, but they start in spring. So I want you to draw some nice rain clouds. And the name of clouds is Volca. There's another word where you can see a W, but it's not making a, a wow, Walter Walrus. It's making a V for Vicky Violet, that sound. Volca. So draw for me Volca. And then the next thing you need to draw is some flowers, which we call bloma. Bloma. In Afrikaans, flowers are bloma. Okay, so make sure you write the label also, as you can see on the screen, Volca and Bloma. Those are the important words that you're going to learn that we are matching to the season, Lenta. You can press pause at any time while you draw and color and do all of that. Okay, the next season that we're going to do is Sommer, because after Lenta is Sommer. So say for me three times, Sommer, let's go. Swimmer, swimmer, swimmer. Okay, and in swimmer, we are going to draw our sun, our nice bright sun. And a sun is a son, but we are going to write son skein, meaning sunshine. Okay, son skein, the sun is shining down on us in swimmer. And then you are also going to draw. A swim bat, which is a swimming pool. Swim, to swim is to swim in Afrikaans. And a bat is a pool, so a swimming pool. Swim bat is a swimming pool. A bat is a normal bath, actually, that you'll have in the bathroom. But a swim bat tells you that this is a special kind of bath that you swim in. So it's a swim bat. Don't forget your sun skein. Draw nice rays of sun coming down so that you know it's about the sun shining. Right, next one, we've got halves. Let's say halves three times. Halves, halves, halves. Okay, and you're going to draw a beautiful halves boom, a halves tree with lots of different colored leaves. And leaves in Afrikaans are blara, blara. So you're going to write the word blara next to your leaves. Okay, that's all for halves. Last one is winter. Let's say winter three times. Winter, winter, winter. And we've got there a lovely Frosty the Snowman with snow coming down. Because if it is snowing, then it is by a, by a coat. So our word that we write there is coat, meaning it is cold. So draw your snowman and write the word coat. Okay, once you've done that, there are four images to help you remember the seasons. And you have got an array of words that you need to learn. So you have got in Lenta, you've got the word Lenta, you've got Volker, you've got Bloma. In Sommer, you've got Sommer, Sonskein, and Swimbat. In Herfs, you've got Blara. And in Winter, you've got Coat. So there, boys and girls, are um, 10 new words for you to practice and learn for Afrikaans. Okay, so maybe stick this up, this poster up somewhere, this picture, so that you can practice saying these words whenever you look at it. Okay, try to memorize them. Bye, good, bye, danke, ik zal zien je morgen. Tot ziens.